Coming up on Game Ball College Kickoff, we do our very first Division II campus invasion. We're in Joplin, Missouri. It's the Central Missouri Mules and the Missouri Southern Lions. Joplin, Missouri. Mike and I are going to be here to break it down for you. Coming up, Game Ball College Kickoff. What's happening, everyone? Welcome to Game Ball College Kickoff, where the football season never ends. It's your boy, Michael Riley. And I'm Luke Hardnett. Together, we're holding it down for our brother, Marcus Jenkins. We got your back, bud. Who couldn't be here today, so we got your back. And we'll shout out to everyone who supports us. Thank you for supporting us since day one so much. We wouldn't be here without you. Now, we are here in Joplin, Missouri, as the Central Missouri Mules, who are 4 0, versus Missouri Southern Lions, who are 1 3. It's homecoming weekend, the MIAA Conference, our first Division II of the NCAA game. Break this match out down, Luke. Well, up to uh, four weeks of the season, the uh, two teams have one common opponent thus far, the Fort Hayes State Tigers. Uh, Central Missouri, they played Fort Hayes and Warrensburg week one of the season. The Mules were left dead in the water about the six-minute mark. Down nine, facing a fourth and 13 from their own 13. They run a 22-yard fake punt. They score a 65-yard touchdown the next play. They eventually force a Fort Hayes fumble, turn that into a touchdown. They win the game 34-30. Now, most recently, last week, Missouri Southern made the trip out to Hayes. They were down 6 nothing at the end of the first, 20 to nothing at halftime, and ultimately lost 44-3. to But don't let that fool you. Missouri Southern, they had a game effort week one against Kearney. They beat the Lincoln Blue Tigers in week two. And in week three, they put 34 on what is known to be a very stout Northwest Missouri State defense. So this is the, uh, the uh, same uh, the Missouri Southern lines of the last decade or so. They uh, New coaches staff, new blood. Don't let last week's performance fool you. They're a better team. Now, uh, what does Central Missouri needs to do to keep this train rolling going 5-0? and Brooke Bowles, he's a sixth-year senior at quarterback. He's been given two medical red shirts. He's a very dual-threat guy, can run, can throw. Think Skyler Thompson at K-State, kind of a poor man Skyler Thompson, if you will. Can read a defense, has a decent arm on him. If you're open, he'll get you the ball. you got to ride Brooke Bowles on this one. What about defensively? Uh, defensively, I mean, the Mules, they, they, they're kind of a... Uh, I mean, the offense is the backbone of the team, so defensively it's bend, don't break. Missouri Southern's going to find the red zone, holding the field goals. Got to be strong on third down as well. Okay, uh, for Missouri Southern, offensively and special teams to go along with your defense you was talking about, what they need to do at home with this crowd at homecoming to get the upset win against Central Missouri? Got to win first down, got to get into third and short, got to move the chains. Best defense is a good offense. Keep that defense off the field as much as possible. And conversely, defensively, you got to, again, win first down, get Central Missouri into third and long. Well, for me, for um, Missouri Southern, on defensively, they need to hold uh, Central Missouri's offense in check, um, play physical smash mouth football, and force turnovers, get three and outs, and don't do mental mistakes and don't give up big plays. If you do that, you have success on defense. Offensively, be aggressive. Take shots down the field. Do some wrinkles. Show some that Central Missouri has never seen before. If they can do that, they can get the upset with at home for homecoming. Now, for Central Missouri, don't let this be a fool. Even though uh, Missouri Southern is 1-3, they can still play football. So do, <coughs> excuse me, do not overlook your opponent. 
run the ball effectively, get the pass game going efficiently, and play good defense if you want to win on the road. And special teams, do not give up big plays. Special teams will be a key factor in this game. Another thing from Missouri Southern I want to touch on, that. should they you know, force any turnovers, they can't be any empty turnovers. You get a turnover like on the Missouri, essentially, excuse me, the central Missouri side of the field, you can't just do a three and out and punt. If you get in the red zone, you can't settle for a field goal. You've got to move the ball, get points off of turnovers, preferably touchdowns. All right, uh, let's predict our winners. Uh, I mean, Central Missouri, they uh, they got a couple of close calls. I touched on the Fort Hayes game week one. Week three, they went to St. Joe and played the Missouri Western Griffins. They came up with a 48-45 overtime victory. So Lady Luck has been wearing the uh, colors of the black and red mules this season so far. I expect more of the same today. Missouri Southern will be able to put up a game effort, like you said, home game, homecoming, whatever else. A little embarrassed last week. But Central Missouri taught the bunch just better on both sides of the ball. I'm uh, going the opposite. I'm going with the upset. I think Missouri Southern, after that embarrassing loss last week, they're at home. It's homecoming. They're energized, and they want to show that they can compete and play for a course of football. Special teams, offense, defense, they have to hit on all cylinders. If they can do that, they'll win this game. So Missouri Southern gets it done at home. And uh, 27-24, I'm going to say that. And we are shooting in the little vicinity. There was a lightning strike before the game started due to the delay. So we'll be back on out in the field for hey and get you the game going. I'm Michael Riley. And I'm Luke Hartnett. This is Game Ball College Kickoff Campus Invasion Game Day Podcast from Joplin, Missouri, where the football season never ends. See you back in the second half.
up at halftime on Game Ball to College Kickoff. We got a tie ball game, 28 apiece. Mike and I is going to break down the first half. What we can expect from the second half? Coming up next on the halftime report, College Game Ball Kickoff. What's happening, everyone? Welcome to Game Ball College Kickoff where the football season never ends. It's your boy, Michael Riley. And I'm Luke Hartman. And we are at halftime. Central Missouri Mules, 28. Missouri Southern Lions, 28. All tied up in the first half. What adjustments needs to be made in the second half for both teams to try to win this game from the first half? I mean, defensively, you got to be gap assignment sound on that. I mean, we saw like a, a pretty big play by Central Missouri going on just a, kind of a basic misdirection end around. Uh, whoever has contain on the outside of there needs to stay at home. All right, let's go back to the first half. What's some things you like in the first half from Central Missouri and some of the things that you didn't like in the first half? I mean, I really like everything they're doing offensively. I mean, uh, they're, they're, they're probably the best uh, team in the conference as far as being balanced goes. I mean, they can beat you. I mean, they can beat you running the ball, but there's different ways they can beat you running the ball. They know how to uh, get outside, get between the tackles, run the screen pass, the draw, etc. Same, same with the. I understand a screen, a screen pass. You know, gets credit for you know passing stats. It's essentially a running running situation, though. Um, then, then throwing the ball, they can. Uh, they, they got such a dynamic quarterback who can. Uh, you can get him out of the pocket. You can throw intermediate. You can throw underneath. You can throw deep. Uh, they, there's just so, and, they, and they're, they're putting it all on display today too. The things I like in the first half is once they uh, uh, was out of sync at one point, they got a momentum start settling down and was able to just. Uh, get on the scoring rampage. The thing I didn't like about Missouri defense, uh, Central Missouri defense, the first half, it seems like they was playing too soft of a coverage or something like that. They need to play man, cause more confusion in the blitz of the game, and be more aggressive. Take some chances and get the Missouri uh, Southern offense off the field. Uh, I want to see that going forward in the second half. Make some adjustments, be more aggressive, and get creative with defensive calling. Now let's talk about Missouri Southern. What's some things that you didn't like and did like in the first half from offensively to defensively? I mean, offensively, they just had great balance. I mean, you never knew on what down if they were going to run a pass or whatever else. Uh, they had, a, I believe, a, what was it, a fourth and 19 at the Central Missouri 27. Uh, a little too close to punt, a little too far for a field goal. They didn't let the 19-yard difference stop. They, I mean, they, they didn't convert, but just the aggressiveness I was able to like there. But uh, they're, they're, they're running the ball between the tackles and outside as well. Uh, they, they, the quarterback's got a rushing touchdown as well. He's not quite the dual threat guy for them, but uh, he keeps you honest. Uh, defensively, like I said, they uh, just you, you mentioned on the end of the round, I mentioned that, you know, at the top of the you know, broadcast here, that yeah, they just uh, need to be, like I said, more gap of sound right or whatever. And offensively, what I like in the first half, I like the aggressiveness of Missouri Southern. They just didn't care. They just said, we're just going to go for it. And they was the aggressor first part and putting up 14 quick points before Central Missouri started making a run. If they could keep doing that, then they could be a chance to keep it close and possibly win this game. Now for the defense, they had, uh, they were giving up too much plays, I thought, in my opinion. But they was able to settle down at the first part of the game and was able to force early three and outs. Then they played a little soft zone here and there. I didn't like the call. So if they could switch it up a little bit and be more aggressive and get back to that first quarter mentality, then they'd be able to stop Central Missouri's offense from scoring and make it more yards and potentially get the upset win at home for a homecoming. Now, in the second half, what adjustments needs to be made for both teams? I think uh, for both teams on the defensive side of the ball, what I'm seeing a lot of is uh, the 
the teams are coming out, both defenses are coming out, you know, basically showing their look with about, you know, 15, 20 seconds to go on the play clock. Uh, you know, offensively, you see it a lot where they put the receiver in motion, so to speak, where they can get a read whether the defense is going to be in zone or uh, man, you know, based on what the, you know, the defense does in coverage there. Well, consequently, what the defenses can do, they start to do, maybe break out of the huddle, maybe not line up so quickly in the play clock. They're not, neither quarterback has been confused that first half, but there's not a whole lot of defensive movement pre-snap, though, too. I think they're kind of like maybe tipping their reads. What I would like to see both defenses do, maybe just stay in the huddle a little bit longer, maybe stay just a little bit bunched up and maybe try to do some more, not zone blitzing, so to speak, but more safety movement, more linebacker movement. Make them quarterbacks guess. I agree, and also cause a little bit of confusion, cause some movements, change up the plays here and there. Make sure that the cause is right. That way, everybody on defense can play a gap assignment football, and both offenses continue to be more aggressive, especially Missouri Southwestern. If Missouri Western continues to be more aggressive, if their defense come out and make a bunch of stops, they'll be able to win this game at home. I'm Michael Riley. And I'm Luke Cardin. This is Game Ball College kickoff where the football season ends. See you at the post game show on Game Ball College kickoff. Coming up on the college game ball kickoff post game show, Mike and I recap the game down here in Joplin between Central Missouri and Missouri Southern. 
Final score, Mules 71, Lions 42. Mike and I will be back to break it down for you all. Game Ball College kickoff. What's happening, everyone? Welcome to Game Ball College kickoff with the football season. Every it's, it's your boy Michael Raleigh, and I'm Luke Hartnett, and we are holding it down for our brother Marcus Young Genius Jenkins, who could not make the trip due to a family marriage. We got your back, fam. He's he, the football dad life. Exactly. Here in Joplin, Missouri, the final score of the MIAA Conference: Central Missouri 71. Missouri Southern State University, 42. Break this game down. How it went one lopsided in the second half. I mean, Central Missouri, they wasted no time after the second half kickoff. They scored uh, what, on the third or fourth play of the half, you know, a uh, 60-yard touchdown, you know, which, which broke, ironically, a 28-28 game tie. I mean, that seemed like ages ago. Um, got a pick on the first Missouri Southern position, turned into a touchdown. Got another pick, turned it into another touchdown, and in two minutes and 56 seconds, it was 49 to 28. And there was still, like I said, over 12 minutes to go in the third quarter alone. Now, break down the things that Missouri, Central Missouri did better on defense to adjust in the second half. Well, they capitalized on the turnovers there. When they got the turnovers, they didn't score any direct defensive touchdowns, but they got solid return yards, though. There was actually another turnover, I believe the... Uh, there was another turnover later, and I believe Missouri Southern turned the ball over four times alone in that third quarter alone. I mean, after the fourth turnover was a return back to the two-yard line. So they said, I mean, a lot of errant plays by the Missouri Southern offense, but the Central Missouri defense very opportunistic, capitalized, got some good returns, set the offense up for touchdowns. And, and uh, speaking of touchdowns, the Central Missouri offense did not uh, disappoint. They didn't get field goals; they got TDs. Now, what happened with Missouri Southern? offensively, defensively in the second half after competing in the first half? Uh, it looked to me like uh, the, 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 uh, excuse me, the adjustment that Central Missouri made, they, uh, they, they must have been tipped off on the uh, Missouri Southern quarterback. I mean, apparently, you know, telegraphing his passes because a few of them throws that he had, I mean, there, there, there was a defender just waiting right there for the ball, almost like they were the intended receiver. So whatever they did at halftime, Central Missouri, that is, they uh, were, were able to make some – pre-snap recognitions to get their guys in the right position to make plays. Now, uh, going forward, uh, Central Missouri did an excellent job in the second half, like you was alluding to. They didn't waste no time. They didn't slack around. They went aggressive, full throttle, offensively, defensively, was scoring on all cylinders, capitalized on turnovers from Missouri Southern, make their mistakes, and they was able to win big and score 42 points in the second half to close this deal out 71-42. to 42. Now, the things I didn't like from Missouri Southern – there was no aggressiveness. There wasn't that passion and that competitiveness. It seems like they dragged and put the foot off the gas, and they was soft in the second half. Don't you agree? Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, I think once they found themselves down three touchdowns in less than three minutes, they kind of realized they was playing a top 20 football team, and reality kind of set in at that point. And I feel like they could have went more in the first half to that aggressiveness and been more uh, efficient with the play calling instead of throwing into double coverage, do some screens, get some option game going here or there. Do the stuff that you was doing the first half, not making the middle mistakes and let Central Missouri make the middle mistakes. And the second half, it was flip-flop from Missouri Southern making the mistakes to Central Missouri going back to what they're doing. Now going for Central Missouri 5-0 and and Missouri Southern 1-4. Uh, what can both teams learn from this game going forward? I mean, Central Missouri, they had the best offense at the conference, maybe the entire Division II. Uh, should they make the playoffs this year? And they look like a playoff team, especially on the, assuming the offensive side of the ball. But it'll be to see what they can do, you know, in postseason play moving forward. This is their second 70-point game of the year. So they can obviously score with the best of them. Um, 
As far as uh, Missouri Southern goes, uh, they have a win over Lincoln already. Uh, they still have a game against Northeastern State, you know, on the schedule. Their next home game is against Washburn. Washburn's only got but the one win over Lincoln to start the season right here. There's some potential wins for you know, Missouri Southern down the stretch. Uh, there's some good potential for this team, for this football program going forward, and I like their chances as well. They got some, they have some bumpy bruises, and they're going through it, growing pains right now. Going forward, I like their coach of their intensity, and I can see a bright future for this program, but today it just didn't look like it. I, I like their offense. They play sideline to sideline and get the defense stretched out entirely. They use, they use the entire 53 yards of the width. If they would have did that in the second half, the score might have been different. Maybe a little closer, we don't know. And that would do it for Game Ball College Kickoff social media. You can follow me on the right side, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Gmail, YouTube, all over the right side. That means to your left side. And thank you for the support. And thank you everything that you've done. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. Let's get them YouTube subscribers going up just a little bit. And our clothing line website is gameballshop.equit.com. That's gameball.equit, excuse me, gameballshop.equit.com. And our other person who couldn't be here, his social media is Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Tinder, all in one word, Jovel E N T. And I'm going to pass it on to my brother Luke. Find me on Facebook at Luke Hartnett. Find me on Twitter at Luke Hartnett 2. Appreciate all the love and support we've gotten so far, whether you've been following us since day one or if today is your day one. Either way, we appreciate the support. Keep it coming, please. It's your boy, Michael Riley, signing off. And I'm Luke Hartnett. This is Game Ball College Kickoff, Game Ball Podcast, Campus Invasion, Tour number five. See you next time. And until then.